guys, what's going on? Welcome to Stretford Paddock. I am Adam McCullough. We are back for another Gazetta United, the place where we have a little bit of a coffee and go through the back pages and have a look at all the headlines surrounding Manchester United, the Premier League and of course international football at the moment as we are on an international break. Not in the coffee shop today. We will be back in the coffee shop from next week. It's just been having a few refurbishments, so we'll be back in there very, very soon, getting the proper stuff in my mug. But for now, we're still here today to go through these back pages and have a look at what the hell is going on. But before we do that, I need you to do us a favor. Hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share. Of course, join if you can. Help us to continue growing here on, on, on Stretford Paddock. Obviously, we're well over 500,000 subscribers. We're trying to hit 600K ASAP and then continue growing from there. And if you didn't know, we've got great Facebook, Instagram pages as well where we have loads of exclusive content to those pages too. So go and check them out. But for now, enough of that. Let's get stuck into these back pages. First off, let's have a sip of this. Lovely little Dow Egberts in the morning. What coffee you use lot on? Let us know in the comments below. Here though, we've got the Sunday Express and on the back it says, give us all a break, says Gareth Southgate. Now, this hypocrite here pisses me right off. He said, anyway, Gareth Southgate has defended his decision to recall coronavirus rule breakers. Jaden Sancho and Tammy Abraham both are back in the England camp despite being axed along with Ben Chilwell for last week's Wales clash after attending a party that had more than six people permitted under coronavirus law. Chelsea left back Chilwell is still to rejo rejoin the squad as he is feeling unwell and awaiting the result of a coronavirus test. Now, now, so when Mason Greenwood and Bill Foden mess about, invite a couple girls around to their hotel room, they get dropped from England, from the next squad as well. They get punished, they get dropped. But these lot, these lot, Ben Chilwell and their man, Tammy Abraham and Jaden Sancho, can do what they want. Make it make sense, bruv. Make it, please, please make it make sense. Gareth Southgate, England, Full of bellends. They genuinely are. And you look at the football they play. You look at the team that he has. And the way Gareth Southgate plays football. The teams that he selects. It shows you all you need to know about him. But then, to make it worse. This bell continues to punish Mason Greenwood and Phil Fold and two young lads. After the fact. After they've already been punished. Yet these lads who've done much worse can just get away with it I suppose. It's a bit weird. Now, I know some are going to say, well, Mac, these lot weren't on international duty when they, when they were in trouble or when they got done for whatever. All right, fair enough. But nevertheless, they've still broken the rules. They've broken the law. Phil Foden and Mason Greenwood never did that. So, I don't get it. This geezer's just awful. And it's like, it's one rule for one, one rule for another. Even when it comes down to performances, some man, Pickford, Pickford, people like Pickford Mount, all these winks and these bang average geezers, yeah, get away with whatever. But the moment a Jack Grealish or something has a bad game, he's out of the squad. I can't stand Southgate. England aren't going to be successful until they get rid of him. And they're not going to have a great Euros with him either. Get rid of him before it's too late. Bring someone like Jose in or something. Um, also at the top of this, it says Oli is not safe from the sack. We're back here again, ladies and gentlemen. And it says Ed Woodward will have no hesitation in firing Solskjaer if United season continues to implode. The United Supremo knows it would be tough given <clears throat> 1999 treble heroics when the former striker... Huh? Would be tough given Solskjaer's 99 treble hero. What have they got to do with anything? It'll be tough because... But Woodward has privately insisted he would put sentiment aside for the future of the club. The Old Trafford Supremo has come under fire for failing to deliver the prior t priority target Solskjaer wanted. Yeah, you dick. But it's Solskjaer himself who could be facing fiercer heat the coming weeks. 
with former Tottenham boss Pochettino still a wanted man at Old Trafford. So what they're doing is they're already briefing, getting ready before, before Solskjaer's downfall. And this is that cycle that we go in. This is that constant cycle that we go in. New manager comes in. We feel good again. We get Champions League football. The board fails to back them. They get sacked. New manager. Get top four. Fail to back them. It's a cycle. It's an absolute cycle. And look. I was never sure about Ali being the man when he came in. But you've given him the job. You've given him the job. Now you're here briefing everybody about Poch this, that and the other. I fucking hate Ed Woodward, I swear to God. I swear to God. Dire England stars can all learn from our role model rash. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Harry Maguire is going to be back in the England squad as well. Not sure how he's managed that one, but again, look at Gareth Southgate. Picks his favourites, doesn't pick others. He's an awful manager. Awful, awful manager. Um... Pickford urged to just look after number one again. Yeah, stay at home, don't go to the England team. Bloody hell. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Express. Let's see what other nonsense is in here now. Marcus Boos, England, says an MBE. Uh, Marcus Rashford getting his MBE. Now, I know a lot of people have criticised him, saying, you know, member of the British Empire and... Why is he taking these MBEs and that? Now, me personally, I'd go tell them to go fuck themselves. I don't want a part of that empire at all. But you've got to realise Marcus Rashford's in a difficult position. He's in a position where he's trying to use his voice, use his platform to make change. By rejecting that, he then rejects an opportunity to be able to be in the same room with the people that can help him make that change. Also, he plays for England. Can you imagine him? Rejecting that and then going on England duty, it don't happen. So whilst I understand some people saying, well, you know, you know, we've got all these things going on around racial justice and that. Can you then just accept to be a part of some sort of empire? I wouldn't do it. I'd want that. But I can understand why Marcus Rashford's in a difficult position and he has to. Bruno in Ali Rock. Bruno Fernandes had a half-time bust up with Man United manager Ali Gunnar Solskjaer during the 6-1 hammering by Spurs. Uh, United match their officials saw 26-year-old Portugal star Fernandes storm past them in the tunnel and then heard him angrily lashing out in the dressing room shouting, we're supposed to be Manchester United. One revealed you couldn't help but hear him. He was clearly in a rage after having a face like thunder when he raced down a tunnel. He laid into teammates accusing them of not upholding the proud name of Man United. He kept yelling, we are supposed to be Manchester United, this shouldn't be happening. It was clear that the manager also came under fire because he was going on about the wrong tactics. There were other raised voices, but his was the one which seemed to carry the main force. Bruno Fernandes is all of us, isn't he? We are supposed to be fucking Manchester United and I'm glad there's someone in the dressing room there that can let these dickheads know that we shouldn't be getting smacked up by fucking Spurs. Once upon a time we were losing 3-0 against Spurs and Fergie said... Guys, it's only Spurs. Sort this out. And we sorted it out. No chance of doing that against them last time out, is it? Suarez, I will bite them back. What's he talking about? Biting against Suarez. Has warned that he will find a way to taunt the Barcelona bus if he scores against his whole club next month. All right, cool, 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 cool. Just less of the bite talk, yeah? Less of the bite talk. East End cash, just dead end. Vanna can I to reject West Ham to play for trophies. West Ham are going to get Ben Rama, you know, apparently. What a signing that would be. What a signing that would be. And we end it with what I guess is going to be the newspapers for the next couple of months um, until it probably eventually happens. Uh, Putch is the name on everyone's lips, says this newspaper here. Um, Mauricio Pochettino is the most wanted man in Manchester. United are eyeing the former Tottenham bus after a wretched start to the season which has seen Ole Gunnar Solskjaer lose two of his opening three games. Either side of a fortunate victory over Brighton but Old Trafford boss are also aware that Pochettino is also viewed across town as a candidate to replace Pep Guardiola at rival City next summer with the Catalans still hesitant on signing a new deal. So it looks like United could be briefing and lining up a move for Pochettino just laying 
the just laying the foundations for that to happen now. Everyone knows I wanted Poch um, early on. Uh, you know, when, when, when Jose Mourinho was sacked. But I just hate how we do this, man. I just hate these cycles that we go in under these bastards. And it, look, Jose deserved to get sacked. If Oli gets sacked, eventually, I have no doubt he would have deserved to get sacked. But when do we start... When, when did them pricks get held accountable? Because it's them one that's appointing these managers. Hiring and firing and responsible for signing players and this, that and the other. It's them lot that need to get it. Not always the managers. Yes, the managers can be a problem. Yes, you can change a lot by changing a manager. And yes, sometimes a manager deserves to be sacked. But how about you pricks upstairs take some accountability? Because that's something that you never seem to want to take. Supposed to be cheering myself up this Sunday. Anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in. Make sure you're watching Strep for Paddock. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. There has been some of the stories on the back pages as United start to brief about Pochettino again. I've been Adam McCola. This has been Gazetta. I'm out of here.